What if I told you that scientists today can predict, with shocking accuracy, how many years you have left after turning 70? Not with crystal balls or fortune tellers, but through seven clear signs your body is already showing you right now. These aren't vague guesses. They're science-backed, statistically proven indicators that doctors are now using to estimate life expectancy, sometimes down to the year. A groundbreaking study from Harvard Medical School followed more than 16,000 seniors for over two decades. Their discovery? Seniors who showed seven specific positive signs lived an average of 17 years longer than those who showed none. That's nearly two extra decades of life. And here's the fascinating part. Some of these signs have nothing to do with traditional health markers like blood pressure or cholesterol. In fact, the number one sign shocked even the researchers themselves. It's something you do every day, often without even thinking, and a simple 30-second test can reveal exactly where you stand. Scientists at Johns Hopkins discovered that seniors who failed this everyday test were five times more likely to die within four years than those who passed. And here's the part nobody wants to admit. Many of these signs are under your control. You can improve them, but only if you know what to look for. So in this video, we're revealing the seven most powerful predictors of longevity after age 70, ranked from least important to most important. And number one is so precise that one study found it predicted mortality with 95% accuracy. Stay with me, because what you're about to learn could literally add years to your life. But before we dive in, tell me in the comments, what age do you hope to reach and why? We read and reply to every single comment with personalized tips. And your stories inspire this entire community. Now, let's begin. Number 7. Grip Strength It might sound too simple to matter, but how strongly you can squeeze something is one of the clearest predictors of how long you'll live. Doctors call this grip strength, the amount of force your hand can apply when you close it around an object, like a stress ball or a jar lid. But grip strength isn't just about your hands. It reflects the overall condition of your body, muscle mass, coordination, and nervous system function. One of the most referenced studies on this topic, published in The Lancet in 2015, followed over 140,000 people across 17 countries. The results were astonishing. For every 5 kilograms of decreased grip strength, the risk of death rose by 16%. In adults over 70, weaker grip strength was directly linked to higher chances of cardiovascular death, stroke, and even hospital readmission. The best part? It's incredibly easy to test. You don't need expensive lab work. If twisting open a jar or gripping items feels harder than it used to, that could be your first warning sign. The fix? Resistance training. Simple exercises like squeezing a tennis ball, using hand grippers, or lifting light dumbbells for your forearms can rebuild grip quickly. Even hanging from a bar for 10 seconds a day works wonders. Take Jim, a 74-year-old retired teacher from Minneapolis. One afternoon, he realized he couldn't open a soda bottle. A later checkup showed his grip strength had dropped by 30% in two years, the same time he'd suffered two falls and needed help climbing stairs. His doctor put him on a daily grip training plan, stress ball squeezes, light curls, and towel gripping drills. Within three months, Jim's grip improved. He carried groceries without shaking, his walking speed increased, and he started sleeping better. Now at 78, he hasn't fallen once and says, I feel like I got my strength and my life back. Number six, social circle size. What if I told you that the size of your social circle could forecast your survival better than your blood pressure? 
a meta-analysis from Brigham Young University pooled 148 studies involving over 300,000 people. The results were clear. Those with strong social relationships had a 50% higher chance of survival. To put it plainly, being socially connected was as powerful as quitting smoking and even more protective than exercising or losing weight. Why? Because real social interaction triggers oxytocin, the bonding hormone that reduces stress and inflammation. At the same time, it lowers cortisol, the stress hormone that damages your memory, weakens your heart, and disrupts your immune system. The danger is subtle. Seniors don't always realize their social circles are shrinking. Friends pass away, children move, mobility declines, and suddenly days go by without meaningful conversation. According to the National Institute on Aging, chronic loneliness raises dementia risk by 40% and heart disease risk by 29%. But the fix doesn't require dozens of friends. Even one weekly call, a book club, or an online senior group can make a difference. Take Sandra, a 76-year-old widow from Phoenix. At first, she enjoyed the quiet life. But slowly, her energy faded, her memory dulled, and she skipped meals. Her doctor urged her to join a weekly book club. Within two months, Sandra had new friends, her mood lifted, her blood pressure dropped 12 points, and her memory scores improved by 18%. She now says, The books are fine, but it's the laughter that keeps me alive. Number 5. Walking speed. Doctors now call walking speed the sixth vital sign. That's how powerful it is as a predictor of survival. A JAMA study followed nearly 35,000 older adults and found that for every 0.1 meter per second increase in walking speed, mortality risk decreased by 12%. Just walking slightly faster than your peers can mean years of extra life. Why? Because walking speed reflects the health of your heart, lungs, muscles, nerves, and brain, all at once. If you slow down, it may be one of the earliest signs of hidden inflammation heart disease, or early cognitive decline. Take Harold, a 79-year-old mechanic from Denver. His granddaughter noticed he lagged behind during a walk. A check showed he walked at 0.7 meters per second, below the healthy 1.0 meters per second. His doctor prescribed a simple daily 15-minute walking and balance routine. Within six weeks, Harold's speed rose to 1.1 meters per second. His cholesterol dropped, his mood lifted, and he stopped using his cane. A 2019 BMC geriatric study confirmed seniors who improve walking speed by just 0.15 meters per second reduce their risk of disability within two years by nearly 40%. Number 4. Albumin Levels in Blood Hidden in your blood work is a number most people overlook. Albumin. It's a protein made by your liver that keeps fluid in your vessels, transports nutrients, and controls inflammation. A 2014 American Journal of Medicine study of 16,000 seniors found that those with albumin below 3.5 grams per deciliter had a 59% higher risk of death within just three years. Low albumin usually points to malnutrition, chronic inflammation, or organ decline. The scary part? You don't feel it happening. No obvious symptoms. But it weakens immunity, slows healing, and increases complications. That's why many doctors now monitor it closely. Normal range, 3.5 to 5.0 grams per deciliter. If you're near the bottom, act, eat more protein, eggs, beans, fish, stay hydrated, and cut sugar and processed meats. Take Rosa, 81, from Houston. She lost 10 pounds unintentionally and felt weaker. Tests showed albumin at 3.3. With dietary changes, eggs, lentils, and shakes, 
she rose to 3.8 in two months. Her energy returned, wounds healed faster, and bruising stopped. A 2020 Japanese study confirmed raising albumin cut hospital stays by 32% and boosted recovery by 22%. Rosa now jokes, I check my albumin like my bank account. It tells me if my body is rich enough to fight. Number 3. Sleep Disruption from Breathing Problems Sleep apnea may be the deadliest hidden condition in seniors. A 2016 sleep health study of 10,000 adults over 65 found untreated sleep apnea, raised heart failure risk by 58%, and stroke risk by 67% within five years. Why? Because every time breathing stops at night, oxygen drops, the heart strains, and the brain is robbed of rest. Over time, vessels harden, blood pressure rises, and memory declines. Warning signs, loud snoring, dry mouth, morning headaches, daytime fatigue, or waking to urinate often. Take Paul, a 73-year-old firefighter. He thought his fatigue came from age, but a sleep study revealed he stopped breathing 32 times per hour. Severe apnea. With CPAP therapy, his energy returned, his mood lifted and his blood pressure dropped from 148 over 92 to 128 over 78 in two weeks. The Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine confirms treating apnea cuts senior death risk by up to 40% over a decade. Paul says, I didn't just save my sleep. I saved my life. Number 2. Mild Cognitive Impairment MCI Mild forgetfulness isn't always just aging. It can be one of the strongest predictors of lifespan. A 2022 neurology study of 12,000 seniors found that 45% of people with MCI progress to dementia within five years. Of those, 37% died within that same time. Warning signs, forgetting conversations, losing your train of thought, struggling with decisions, or trouble planning simple tasks. But here's the hopeful part. Lifestyle changes can slow it down. A 2021 Lancet Healthy Longevity study found memory games plus light walking cut progression by 30% in one year. Take Linda, 75, a nurse from Sacramento. She forgot lists and left the stove on. Testing confirmed MCI. Devastated at first, she joined a brain fitness program with walking, puzzles, music therapy, and social discussions. Six months later, her memory scores improved by 11%, her balance steadied, and her mood brightened. She says, I thought it was the beginning of the end, but it became my comeback. Number one, gait variability. Forget cholesterol, blood pressure, or even memory. The strongest predictor of survival after 70 is gait variability, the rhythm and consistency of your steps. A 2020 Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience study of 9,000 seniors found those with high gait variability were 73% more likely to die within eight years, even if they had no diagnosed illness. Why? Because even walking evenly requires your brain, muscles, nerves, and balance systems to work in perfect sync. Tiny step irregularities signal early nervous system decline, even before other symptoms. Take Roger, an 80-year-old saxophonist from Chicago. His daughter noticed slight shuffles and hesitations when he turned. A neurologist confirmed high gait variability despite normal blood work. With Tai Chi, balance training, and omega-3s, Roger's walking evened out in four months. A 2023 Journal of Gerontology meta-analysis found improving gait consistency cut death rates in seniors over 75 by nearly 39%. Roger says, The body whispers before it screams. My footsteps were the whisper. So there you have it. 
Seven science-backed signs that predict how long you'll live after 70. These aren't random quirks of aging. They're measurable indicators of how your body is holding up. And the best part. Most of them can still be improved. You don't need expensive treatments. You just need awareness, action, and the courage to listen to your body's early warnings. Start today. Walk a little faster. Call a friend. Join a group. Ask your doctor about one simple blood test. The future is still in your hands. Now I want to hear from you. What age are you aiming to reach? And which of these seven signs surprised you most? Drop a comment. We read and reply to everyone. And if this video helped you, hit like, share it with a friend, and subscribe. Because the next video might reveal the hidden food or daily habit that's either extending or quietly cutting your life right now. Stay safe, stay strong, and protect your years. Because life isn't just about adding time, it's about adding life to your time.